Bonjour et bienvenue au talk show de Deb, ici votre chroniqueuse Déborah, dans le studio Baraza Media TV. Le but de l'émission est de vous faire promouvoir des jeunes artistes africains à travers le Canada pour vous faire découvrir leurs talents cachés. Aujourd'hui, je reçois JD Banks. Bonjour JD Banks. Hello. Comment allez-vous? Uh, very fine, you? Premièrement, je vais vous demander qui êtes-vous? Uh, I'm an artist. Uh, I make music. I write songs and uh, I perform. So that's me. Et euh, on aimerait savoir de quel pays d'Afrique venez-vous? Mm, that's a long story, yeah. Because I, I was born in Congo. I grew up in Congo most of my childhood. Then at the age of like uh, 11 or 10, I had to move to Uganda. Then Uganda stayed a few years, then I came to Canada. Oh, ok. Et yeah. comment est-ce que vous êtes arrivé au Canada? Ah, it was a long process, you know, staying in a foreign country. Yeah, it was a long process, but it took time and I ended up uh, coming to Canada, uh, to Saskatchewan, Montreal. Ah, Saskatchewan, I mean. Saskatoon in Saskatchewan, not Montreal, my bad. Et pourquoi est-ce que vous êtes parti de Saskatchewan? No, um, it wasn't really my decision. It was, uh, it was a family move at one point. Then, uh, on, some, on some extent, uh, I was looking for opportunities because uh, I've been doing music for a couple of years now, and I thought maybe Montreal is the best place to compete because of the population and, and the things that happen out here that doesn't happen out there in the West. Alors, vous êtes en train de dire que vous avez commencé votre carrière à Saskatchewan, mais à cause de l'opportunité, vous êtes venu au Québec. Yeah, that's true. Et quand est-ce que vous avez commencé votre carrière? Um, it's a long story too, because I, I don't know actually, because I, I grew up in the church. I grew up in the church. My dad is a pastor, oh. so I started at a young age just singing in the church, you know. It's just been like singing, 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 then up to where I came out here. Then I started doing some little competition. Uh, it got serious, I guess, probably two years ago. Okay, well. Ouais. Et um, j'aimerais savoir uh, quel type de musique faites-vous? Uh, I used to do R&B, trap, but now the, I'm doing Afro beats, Afro pop. Et pourquoi est-ce que vous avez autant changé de style de musique? Uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's the growth, because uh, when I moved out here, it was more like a I was influenced by stuff that I saw, but I sit back and sit and study, then I, I learned something, you gotta love what you are. Like, so I went back home, started listening to songs from back home, people like Fela Kuti is my inspiration. So I listened to those songs and I said, what if I try to do these songs like uh, to please my people instead of me trying to copy another people's culture. So like I took it in and I made some songs in Afrobeats that I like and I feel like It's my place. Vous parlez beaucoup d'inspiration. Quel artiste vous inspire le plus? That's a big question. Because I pretty much listen to everything. And uh, at one point, you don't know why it inspires you if you listen to a lot of stuff. But I got some favorite artists that I, that I like. Uh, I would say August of Shina, the singing, vocals, and stuff. Uh, I took it from some, some stuff I took it from him. Then uh, I put on Wizkid, obviously. Mm -hmm. Damn, growing up, right. he was like uh, the number one guy since I was a kid. So like all that, I mashed it together and made, made my own style. J'aime bien. Um, Est-ce que vous êtes tout seul ou il y a une équipe derrière vous? Yeah. When I came out here uh, in Montreal, especially because I was new, I didn't know too many people. I only knew one person uh, who was Aeli, who came in the same place that I was. So. I took time to sit down and spoke to him and I try to find out what to do. And then he he uh he did something to introduce me to some people that he knows that might help. So right now I got like a family behind behind me that are trying to help me pushing his music stuff. Since you can't do it alone, it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. So I'm working with this uh, big company. Uh, it's not a company actually. It's a production company. So. VL Production, I don't know if you heard of it. No, qui est VL Production? Uh, VL Production is like a, it's like a family, also like a training camp. So like uh, they take these young Africans to be, spe to be specific talents, they try, they try to help them uh, 
to promote them out there, like to help them in a, any kind of way. Like uh, I'll give you an example, like me, I came out here, didn't know anyone. So they took me in, they showed me some things. They, from there, they just been helping and helping. And we're doing too much with them. I can't without them. But how is it that you found VL? Yeah, that's what I told you. That's what I told you. I, I discovered VL through my, my friends, Aeli. Okay. Yeah. VL, but he's probably heard of VL somewhere. Can we find it easily on the internet, VL? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. VL is everywhere. You can find VL like on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, Everywhere actually. Ah ouais, on peut yeah. trouver partout. VL Production. VL underscore production uh, on Instagram. Parfait. Si vous avez la chance de faire un feat avec un artiste, ça serait lequel? Ah, uh, what you mean? Like uh, an artist, like an international, international, Africa. national, Afrobeat. Si j'avais la chance de faire la musique comme vous, peut-être que j'aurais choisi Beyoncé. Can I have two or three? Bien sûr. Ah, uh, since I'm a Congolese, I'll start with back home. I want to do a song with this guy, Enos B, just because uh, we're from the same place. So that would mean too much to me, it would mean too much for my country too. Uh. And second one would be Wizkid. I love that guy. That guy is just uh, my inspiration, the way he just conducts himself, the way he just moves, everything he does. He's just uh, inspiring. And the third one, I think it would be Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Yeah, if I had to do a song with an international artist, it would be Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Yeah. Vous avez parlé de Inez B comme votre première inspiration avec qui vous aimeriez faire un feat. Ouais. Vous m'avez dit que vous habitez dans le même coin. Dans quel coin exactement au Congo vous habitez? Ah, I came from the east side of Congo, North Kivu, and I grew up in Goma. So like Inez B, we knew him as a kid back then. And the funny thing about it is like my grandpa's house is literally used to be close to his house. Oh, okay, wow. So he was a guy that always ran around. They used to have this group called Maisha So, him and his brother just playing around drums and singing everywhere, every festival that comes in the city. So it would mean too much for me to make that song like with him because It's all, it's all I'm for, like, so that's a, as I told you before, like, I used to do this, all this type of music before, but I went back home and studied. So that song would mean so much for me, because it would be like giving back at the same time to my people. Like, telling a story through a song, or telling a vibe through a song, just teaching youngs back home, it would mean too much for me. You also talked about Chris Brown. Chris Brown, there was des moment où il y a une réputation pas très bonne, est-ce que vous pensez qu'en tant qu'artiste, c'est important d'avoir une bonne réputation? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But I can't speak on Chris Brown's part because I don't know too much about it. And we actually don't know what was going on there, so we can talk about it. I like just to keep it like on the professional side. I like uh, his work. I think the way he puts on like songs and albums. Uh, I don't. I don't think you've seen. Uh, The last two albums he drops, oui, like 40, 45 songs, exactly. just it's too impressive. And he can perform, he can sing, he can rap, he can, he can do everything. So like, to me it's Chris Brown, Beyonce, then Kanye, those are the best performers if you take away Michael Jackson. Exactement, yeah. si on enlève Michael Jackson, bien yeah. sûr. J'aimerais que vous me parliez de vos projets musicaux. Est-ce qu'il y en a en cours ou il y en a déjà sur le plateau? Uh, we recently dropped uh, an EP, me and my brother, ILG. And it's doing good so far, and we got some video that we trying to show this month. So uh, we got, I guess we got some stuff out, and like uh, I was working on an EP to him as well. That's gonna come out probably this year, some sometime this year. I might, I might give out a name of it because I think I got the name for it. Ah, oh, d'accord. Uh, Ailij nous a parlé de Urban Navy. Yeah. J'aimerais vous demander c'est quoi votre son préféré dans votre groupe. Mm, that's a good question because uh, my favorite song is not even out yet. Ah. And I don't even think it's gonna be out. It's a song that we made years and years ago. And why did you not release it? I don't know, to be honest. If it's your favorite, according to me, I think it would be time to make the audience and myself happy of your song. Maybe one day. I would like to ask what your goal in your career is. Uh, when I started doing music, I had a lot of stuff going through my head, you know, the money, the fame, yes, yeah. and all those stuff. But 
after sit down and actually asked myself why do I, do I want to do this because if you look a uh, few years back I was going to school I was doing all this bunch of stuff that could have that could have got me a life and money if I wanted to so like I sit down I start studying and I see the culture like the African culture getting lost uh, in the uh, Western world so like my main focus is to bring back that culture to try to do my best to inspire these young people to to make them uh, to, to make them feel like Africa is, uh, being an African is not a shame yes, I'm gonna give you an example like uh, when I came out here listening to Afrobeats at school people look at you like you're not cool right so I started listening to rap and I got influenced and now boom but like if you look at the timing that we're in right now, like Afrobeat is actually taking over, it's coming, yeah. yeah. So it took uh, these Nigerians to be proud of them, so East Africans can see too, like, yo, we can be proud of our music and make it global. So that's all I'm trying to do, like, put Africans, especially young people in Africa, just trying to make them feel like being an African is not a shame. Yes, sir. It's a cool thing. Yes, sir. Yeah, we got delicious food too. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to ask you, Est-ce que être un artiste c'est facile? Nah, it's not easy. It's not facile. Yeah, okay. I can speak on my level though. D'accord. Yeah, I don't know too much about what's going on out there because I can only imagine. If I'm saying it's not easy at this point, then it should be something like really crazy up there. But it comes with a lot of challenge, especially us. We grew up as Africans. When you talk to your dad, when you have that talk, be like me, I feel like. This is what I want to do. Yes, sir. Then it's always that um, maybe, and as, as I told you, I grew up in a, in a church. My dad is a pastor, so there's no really that. They'll give you the eyes to be like, just do whatever you want to do, but this is, this is the best. You should do this. They don't want to tell you, like, do this, but you just feel the vibe is like, you shouldn't do that. Okay? So it's been tough a little bit, but we keep it now. Perfect. Um, si tu avais la chance de représenter toute la communauté afro-canadienne, artistes, producteurs, vocal coach et compositeurs, mm -hmm. quel message aurait-il nous donné? Mm, that's a big responsibility. Uh, uh, I'll just tell them to stay original. And if I had to talk about African artists like to other people that don't know about it, I'll just say, it's beautiful, it's the new wave, it's the new stuff, it's, uh, it's full of plenty of stuff. I can give you like, to top of my head, I can give you like seven different genres that cut the, the same Afrobeats. So like Afrobeats is a, it's a really big genre and like, there's too much space for everyone. So you can do dance or Afrobeats, you can do gangaton if you're from Kenya, you can do bongo flavor, still in Africa, you can go South Africa too. Zulu, those type of singing. There's too many genres. Like you can go back even in time. Rumba, we got Franco, we got Fela from Nigeria, we got uh, who's the guy from Mali? He's good too. He's with a saxophone. Yeah, he's too good. So like Africa is the new thing, and it's, it's too much stuff that we can do in one genre. Donc, j'espère que Jay Bank vous a donné le goût de découvrir encore plus les artistes Afro-Canadiens qui se cachent au Canada. Merci DJ Banks d'avoir accepté mon invitation au studio d'Arasa Media TV. De rien. Cher artiste, si vous voulez euh, me contacter pour que je puisse promouvoir vos projets, n'oubliez pas de me contacter sur Instagram sur Kilwasa et Snapchat 4 C'était votre chroniqueuse Déborah dans le studio Barasa Media TV sous le nom du talk show de Deb. Au revoir. <rire>